We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. Hi, my lovelies. Today, I am bringing you this amazing curvy girl friendly skirt slash dress because I actually didn't finish the top for this skirt and I pulled it up one day and it fit me amazingly and I was like, whoa, it was a great fit. So anyway, this is the blueprint I use for most of my skirts and I hope you guys love it. We will be using a 6.5 millimeter hook because I hate using small hooks. We're also gonna be using any type of yarn you choose. I always go with my basics right there at the Walmart, honey, and some scissors. So I need you to visit this video that I will put um, somewhere on the screen. I don't wanna keep making the same video over and over. And basically, once you follow this video and you reach the fifth row, so you're gonna make the waistband and then make the first five rows, then come Come meet me back here and we will continue the magic okay are you back honey you ready okay so we're gonna chain up four and this will act as our double crochet plus chain one and we're going to turn our work and now we're going to begin our increases so in the next stitch I'm going to place a double crochet a chain one and I'm gonna place another double crochet in that same stitch so we're doing this at the beginning of the row and the end of the row so go ahead and chain across or double whatever the heck double crochet across okay and meet me back at the end of the row So we have a double crochet and our chain four left. So we're gonna double crochet, chain one and double crochet in that same stitch, right? And then we're gonna chain one and you're gonna place your double crochet in that third chain of the chain four from the previous row. See that? Mm-hmm. Okay, now the next row we're not going to increase, we're just gonna do a regular row of double crochet. So chain up four and place a double crochet in each of the double crochets from your previous row. And so basically, we're going to do this for a total of 10 rows. So you're gonna have five rows of increase, five rows of no increase. You feel that? Okay. And so after you finish those beautiful rows, look at the shape that you start to get. Uh-huh, that's gonna hug every single curve. I've had a client tell me, this skirt gave me curves that I didn't even know I had, honey. Okay. That's exactly what we want. So it's a total of 10 alternating rows. So of course, you know, it's your world, okay? We're just living in it. So you can try more or less rows of increase uh, for your own body type or whatever. Um, but this is basically what I've been doing for years and it fits people. I'm talking about size extra smalls to, you know, my daggone two X, sometimes three X hips. So this usually works. Um, you just have to, you know, work it out for yourself. See what happens. <laughs> Now for the remainder of this skirt, we are just going to continue the rows of no increase. We're just gonna be double crocheting forever and ever. And I think I did 65 additional rows and that gave me the length that you saw at the beginning of the video. I actually was going for ankle length, but these hips swallowed the yarn up, honey. So that didn't work out for me. Um, but yeah, you just go as long as you want, okay? I didn't do anything special to end this first panel. Um, I just cut the yarn, ended it like that. You might want some rows of single crochet, whatever. So once you have your desired length, look at those rows, look at that, look at that, look at that. You're gonna do it all over again, okay? Make another panel and then we're going to join them. I like to start joining at the waistband and working down. So I'm just gonna take some yarn and I will attach it to the top of the waistband. 
and I just used um, slip stitches to join the waistband part together and then when we get to the remainder of it um, I use one single crochet in each space okay you'll see what I'm talking about And it's interesting because I would have thought that I would have placed two single crochets in each space. Hmm. But perhaps uh, the spaces weren't that big. You know what I'm saying? So it's up to you if you want to do one single crochet in each or two. Have fun. And at the end here, you'll see that I just kind of do one last little slip stitch and then I'm going to use these two strands to tie, um, I don't know, tie that yarn together or whatever. And then you're going to do that on the other side as well. Oh, look at me. Look at me weaving in my ends. I must have did that because I was recording because I don't really do that. Okay, good job. And this is what it looks like on the inside. You're gonna flip your work inside out when you're finished weaving the two sides together. And look how beautiful that seam is. Yes, ma'am. Now you know I can't do anything without having a good drawstring. So I'm just gonna take uh, for two different balls of yarn, I'm gonna put them together and crochet a long chain. I wanna say I did like, it was either 150 or 250, but you just want it to be able to go around your waist or up above your chest, wherever. I don't know if you're wearing this as a skirt or a dress, but uh, yeah. And then you're gonna have that nice chain. I like to take my skirt, fold it in half. And then I like to weave in the waist, or sorry, weave in the drawstring towards the top of the waistband. I don't remember which uh, fellow crocheter on YouTube um, suggested doing it this way, but it is a lot better than weaving it in. Um, you know, like I think most of us used to weave it in towards the middle of the waistband. But something about doing it at the top is a lot more effective, I think, and it looks better. And guys, look at that. I am excited to announce that you have completed the Curvy Girl Friendly skirt slash dress i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you on the next video bye oh and i'm not finished please like comment and subscribe and if you want this to be a written pattern i will definitely try my best <laughs> so you can put the pound on